Hello everyone, welcome to Budget Exam Prep. So today I am going to discuss a very important topic for the analog communication that is the complex envelope. And to calculate the complex envelope in the very short manner, I have one trick and let's discuss that trick in this particular video. So coming to that, uh, before starting, uh, let me introduce myself. So this is Sakit Verma and I am having more than 13 years experience in the field of teaching GATE and ESC and my qualification is MT from IIT Guwahati. And I teach these subjects so you can check the area of my expertise. Now coming to the complex envelope, we generally calculate the complex envelope only for a band pass signal. Okay, so if you have any band pass signal, because we know that any modulated signal are band pass signal like uh, amplitude modulated or frequency modulated or any other uh, modulated signal are called as a band pass signal because we translate the uh, lower frequency signal into higher frequency signal. So uh, if you have a band pass signal, then any band pass signal can be represented by this particular expression. Okay, so when you have any band pass signal given, then definitely you will be able to uh, convert this into this form, uh, convert that equation into this form because uh, it is a band pass filter, a uh, band pass signal. So you will definitely be able to write and uh, you have to do some mathematical manipulation. Then uh, one will be the cos omega ct and sin omega ct means the quadrature component should be there and the frequency must be same. So the coefficient of cos is called the in phase component and the coefficient of sin is called the quadrature component. And if you want to write the complex envelope directly, you can write by using this relation. So once you find the in phase component and the quadrature component, just you have to write in, in the form of a complex number. So coefficients are there, you have to write in the form of a complex number A plus JB, in phase component plus J into quadrature component coefficient. So, uh, and the similar way you can, uh, I am giving you the second method also to write the complex envelope that is X of T. If you have any band pass signal, then then band pass signal can be represented in terms of complex envelope. If you write in, it, uh, in terms of uh, complex envelope, like real part of complex envelope of the signal multiplied with E to the power J omega CT. This omega C can be the frequency of carrier. It can be the center frequency of any signal because a band pass signal is always have the center frequency and it can also be the reference frequency, whatever given in the question. Just you write the whole expression in terms of a complex term and uh, separate your complex exponential, which is your reference signal, reference frequency and the remaining inside the real part of that complex will be called as the complex envelope. So for that, uh, I am having an example like this is the modulated signal. So definitely it is a band pass signal. So let me write it in terms of complex envelope. So I want to write it in terms of exponential. So we know that e to the power minus a t and how can we write the cos? This is e to the power. Okay. How can we write the cos signal? That is nothing but the real part of e to the power j into omega c plus delta omega into t and then bracket closed and ut okay so you can write in terms of reference frequency because it is a modulated signal the reference frequency will be the carrier frequency so if you take this e to the power minus a t inside and you separate your carrier frequency then it is j delta omega t and you can write this ut also inside this real part because it, ut is a real signal only so it is having the real part uh, it, either you write it in the inside the real part or outside it does not even matter and then it is e to the power j delta uh, g, j omega ct okay so according to the uh, two methods we discussed the whatever is the reference frequency just mark it so this is the reference term so this is the reference term or your center frequency you will say so this is the reference frequency or the center frequency you will say the remaining will be called as the complex exponential. So the complex exponential of this signal is e to the power minus a t e to the power j delta omega t and u t. Okay, so this will be the complex envelope. So if you check the options, then we have the e to the power minus a t e to the power j delta omega t option b. So option B is the right answer. So in this way, you can solve. And I have given you the second method. So this is the second method by which I solved. I have given you the first method also. 
in which you write this whole expression whole exponential in terms of a coefficient of in phase and quadrature component and then check that whether you are getting this answer or not and in comment in the comment section then i will explain you uh, similarly i will come with uh, come again with some small trick of any other topic from the communication signals and mft thank you for watching this session don't forget to subscribe the channel and let's meet in the next video